my young friend here just asked about <laughs> buyers and sellers, and he prefers working with buyers. I also prefer working with buyers. Okay. And you seem questioning, oh, like, yeah. why? I didn't get into that. I, yeah. Well, no. I get so carried away when I'm answering questions. When I met, when I met MVP agents, I said, my, I would rather put a campfire out with my face than work with a seller. I just okay. don't like it. They're never happy. The, the money. I don't know if I would do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I just, that's, my, I prefer buyers all the time. Does, that, does that mean, no. Does that mean I'm not going to be successful because I don't want to? Listen, work everything with works, okay? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing you're, here's the thing that you're missing here. Sellers are difficult, right? That's what you don't want. Buyers aren't difficult? <laughs> Look at me. Right now, tell me. They're all the same. It's all the same. Buyers and sellers are the same amount of work and difficulty. People try to people try to say there's there's sellers and they're buyers. See, I, I don't I don't classify myself as a buyer's agent or, or a listing agent. I'm a real estate agent that helps people buy and sell property. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, like, if somebody comes to me and wants to buy or sell, I'm here, I'm ready. I'm ready to help them. I don't oh, care. I'm not going to turn them down. Right. I, just, I just prefer. Listen, let, you need to go, you guys need to um, search on YouTube, Ricky Cruz listing presentation. I don't have one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a video. I have a video on what I do, right? I bring the comps. I bring the blank listing. I bring a Ricky Creek pen, a twenty dollars gift certificate. That's it, right? And I'm and I'm showing up, and I'm letting them show me the house, show me the condo. What's so amazing? You know, they're gonna tell me why it's the best one in the neighborhood, and then we're gonna, and then I'm gonna try to relate to them and find out why they want to sell, right then and there. Now we're developing a relationship. Right? Based on why they want to sell, now I'm trying to figure out when they want to sell. Okay. And then I'm sort of trying to help them through that process. It's the same, now everybody wants right now business. I want business right now. There's no such thing. Right? Everything is now business and everything is future business. A buyer might not want to buy for six months. An expired listing might want to take a break for six months. Right, all these, you know, for sale founder, all these low hanging fruit that all the coaches talk about, it's full of people who may or may not do stuff today, right? When people see circle prospecting, Ricky, that circle prospecting stuff, that takes forever. Actually, there's people that, that get listings the first week. I have people in my coaching program, I have a guy right now, he started in November, closing a million a month this year so far, every month, closing a million. I have a guy who, who started three months ago, has five listings already. I have a guy in Chicago that made more in January and February than he did all year last year. Everything is mindset, but you got to realize this person may do something now or may do something later. For every kind of lead, the Facebook leads, most of them are futuristic, right? Long way down the road. Some of them close now. And when you realize the relationships over transactions mentality, you start to realize, you start to see the future where you can predict where your business is going to be in a couple of years based on the people you're talking to now, what they're saying, the velocity of your database, right, and how you're treating everybody. I don't even know what you asked. <laughs>